Uh, so welcome back. Uh, this is an unplanned one, as are most of the videos that I make. Uh, but this one's a little bit fun because I have a chance today at driving a new furthest range ever before hitting zero until empty. So as you see, as you can see, I've got five miles of range remaining. I've driven 174.4 today, and I've been in this vehicle for almost five hours. I uh, I dispatch out uh, about 10 to 15 minutes south of Harrisburg, and today my route brought me to Baltimore. Uh, so anybody familiar with the area, uh, it's, uh, it's a good 60 miles of highway one way to get there from, from where I start. Uh, I went through Finksburg, Owings Mills, Woodlawn, Phoenix, and then back up to York uh, before finishing my day, dropping my coworker off here. Uh, not too shabby. Uh, one thing should be said, all four hours and 51 minutes so far have included me running the air conditioner. I do keep the AC on because it's hot. I keep the fan on one or two, depending upon how hot. Uh, and she's doing really good so far. This is this is rather impressive, especially considering all the highway I've done today. Uh, my payload today was comparatively low compared to what I usually take. I only had three television parts. Most of the tickets were no parts tickets. So outside of carrying my refrigeration equipment and stock parts, there's not much else in here. But still, that's really quite good. Uh, so I'm gonna gonna film it until the end to see if I do hit that that new milestone here. I'm very excited to see if we can get it. Uh, and just just bear in mind and remember again, this fan is rated for 118 miles. Or excuse me, that's that's wrong. 116 miles of range. Mid roof. 148 inch wheelbase. That's what I drive. Yeah. Running low on the power meter <laughs> at, at a minimum here. Uh, and as always, the, the two numbers on the right are solely lifetime numbers. That's for my own analytical data. I don't reset those. I only reset the trip and the odometer uh, before each before each journey. Let's get around these guys here. Maybe make this arrow. Maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, for anybody that's, that naysays electric, man, like, these things... This is definitely the way to go, if you can get your hands on one. I know there's a lot of people who have a lot of trouble with that. And I, I the, the Ford dealer here in York has one. I don't actually know if that one's for sale, though, or if that's just a demonstration model. I know availability is limited. So you really just have to get lucky. And that's unfortunate. But yeah, if you're if you're if you're looking for one and uh, your routes are anything like mine, you know, like even if it is a lot of highway, just 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 bear in mind what your payload's going to be. If you exercise about half the payload of this vehicle, you're probably only going to get about 130, 140. I exercise like one fifth of uh, max payload capacity, and I I get routinely around here. Sometimes a little bit less, sometimes a little bit more. Depends. Sometimes I have routes in the mountains, and sometimes not. Uh, mountains, by the way, will eat up all of your range. There's a a mountain in Halifax that I go up. It's it's like two miles of vertical incline. Like 15% grade or something like that. And I must eat like 7 or 8 miles of range going up that 2 miles of mountain. Uh, but then regeneratively breaking the entire way down, I regain about 2 miles and travel about 2 miles. So it, it kind of works out in the wash. It's, it's not so bad, but it's definitely not as good as just driving on flat roads like this. Alright, so we're at 176 with 3 remaining. I think we're gonna get it. I think we're gonna. Uh, I think we're gonna get a new record here. So, uh, previously 178.3, I believe, was the highest I've gotten when it hit zero. Um, and the van won't won't stop when it hits zero. It's gonna have a little bit of buffer space there. Uh, we might be able to finish or just about get myself to my house without hitting zero. These roads are pretty favorable for this. So let's keep let's keep it on moving. There might be some uh, pause here where I don't really have much to talk about, so I just enjoy the enjoy the ride with me. Uh, I don't know. 
maybe we won't make it. That would be really disappointing. I don't want to cheat and turn off the air conditioning. I want to be climate controlled as we reach the end of the state of George. Obviously not all in motion, a lot of it's me, you know, me sitting at traffic lights, me loading up my next ticket while I run the AC, stuff like that, typing up repair reports while I run AC. So I, I, it's not all driving. In, in terms of actual motion, it's probably about an hour of downtime where I'm just sitting still, maybe a little bit, a little bit less than that. If you get any beeps, uh, my wife messaging me through Facebook, so I apologize. Right. Even if we get down to one mile here, of a good bit of this next portion's uh, got a negative grade to it. So I still think we have a good shot. Yeah, there's no, there's no way I don't hit it at this point. Definitely no way. I don't anticipate losing two miles of range within the next point seven miles with a negative grade. I don't usually do any editing on these either. I just kind of turn on the camera and wing it, talk about whatever I feel like talking about. I might fast forward uh, some of this portion here just because it's probably disinteresting. Uh, one of the other features of this vehicle that you might not like versus the gas one, there are fewer Starbucks holders in here than there are in the gas version. You only get three versus the four in the gas transit. So let's bear that in mind. So if you're a big fan of coffee, you know, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta take that into account. That might be a make or break for some people. This is probably pretty boring for most of you guys. I, I routinely drive in silence. I don't ever listen to the radio. I listen to the GPS of anything else. But yeah, we've reached the di critical charger distance. So we gotta find one because it's near the edge of our range. Don't wanna run out of energy. But I'm confident I'm not going to run out of energy. I've done this before. I've been in worse... Con <laughs> I've been in a worse position before. This is... This is Nothing this machine can't handle. I'm not, I would not be like one of those other guys on YouTube that like runs this thing down to actual zero. You know, the zero beyond zero, I should say, where the machine just doesn't go forward anymore. That'd be a massive inconvenience, and when you work 80-hour weeks, there's no time for any of that inconvenience. Yeah, so from here on out, it's, it's mostly negative grade, so I'm going to be regen driving here a little bit, so we're getting free plus distance. So we've already gotten the new record, so 178.5, that's the highest I've ever gotten now, before hitting zero. Uh, the furthest I've ever driven, including going into the buffer zone, was 181.3. Got three miles into the zero range. Probably, I don't know if there's enough distance remaining to my house to actually get that. But we'll see. This gives great credence to what I've been saying about the range of this vehicle. and It, it really does so much more than, than what they advertise. And I think it's a lot better of a fit for many more people than originally anticipated. I think we can actually hit 180. 
I can actually get the uh, European range estimate because this is this is all like downhill here. Just so the people behind me don't get a look, get upset about how slow I drive. That's something to talk about. Like, man, like you drive these large vehicles. If you're not driving aggressively, people will literally just go out around you on the double yellow lines. I drive like between five and well, between zero and five under the speed limit routinely, and residential drivers just don't take too kindly to that. They're always in a hurry to get to that red light that's right up the road or the next stop sign, and they they don't actually gain any distance by going around me. If you're on the road, just be patient. How are you doing now? 179.5. Can we actually get to 180? So I'm going to end it when we, uh, when we actually hit zero here. Let's see if we can get to 180. I, mean, I, think we, I think we can do it. AC still on. Got to be comfortable. And I didn't anticipate this was going to be this long. I thought I timed this pretty well. I was hoping to only get like seven or eight minutes here. We're well over twelve. There's 180. Still with one mile of range remaining. That is something. That really is something. Just imagine that. Imagine getting 64 more miles of the advertised range of the vehicle. What other manufacturer can say that? What other vehicle can you get where you can do better than the manufacturer's advertised range outside of the C-Transit? And that, that's really a testament to Ford and not over-promising and under-delivering. It's exactly the opposite. Under-promised and over-delivered. There it is. We got zero. And a depleted battery stopped safely now, but of course we're not going to stop because why would we? Press OK. So we got 180.5 when we hit zero. So that, that's that's really remarkable. It's really good. It's the best I've ever gotten. So if you are thinking about picking up the 4D e Transit, this is an example of what you might be able to experience. Until next time.